Our committee received a lot of evidence about the need for changing attitudes um, to older years and older life. Um, let me illustrate that in a few ways. It's quite clear to most of us, when you get to 65, you're not old unless you're very unlucky. And yet, that has tended to be our view in the past. Get to 65, retire, uh, end of um, active life, uh, pick up your pension, stop work and end. That set of attitudes, we think, is not going to be what people want and need or is appropriate for the future. Many people would like to work longer, albeit not full time. Um, employers need to shift their attitudes to employing older worker and not see them as something to get rid of at 65 if they because uh, many people have got much to contribute still if they wish to do so. We clearly need to shift to question whether our public services and our public service policies automatically um, kick in at a certain age. We were told that age is not a good um, reason for judging what, how you should pay taxes or whether you needed services or not. You need to look more subtly at those issues rather than simply de determine them by age itself. And lastly, um, to give you an example, many older people who may not be working after um, they uh, may have stopped full-time working um, still want to contribute to society. Very many older people do already contribute massively through childcare, through volunteering, but we think there is more um, that they can be done and we need to find ways of making possible for older people to do more volunteering when they wish to do so, because they have still got such a fantastic contribution to make to our neighbourhoods, to our society, as well as to their family and friends, which of course they are already doing. So for all of those reasons, we think attitudes need to shift, and that implies also questions of shifting policies and practices as well.